Just watching it and just knowing that it's all coming to an end, 20 years of hits, it's just crazy. No, I said it wasn't funny. I was just like, <laughs> that was traumatic. Diddy's two children, Justin and Christian Combs, don't appear to desire to live up to their father's fame. They appear to be more than happy to call out his aforementioned lies. In case you missed the big announcement, Christian and Justin are involved in a lawsuit that Diddy is facing. Diddy's accuser, producer Lil Rod, says they were complicit in his actions and covered everything up. As the public response approaches, these two are finally talking about their involvement in the most recent incident involving the music mogul. And what kind of experience do you have? There are rumors that Diddy forced them to comply. According to sources, Justin and Christian spent a significant amount of time learning about Diddy's way of life from him. When they were little, Diddy used to arrange extravagant parties for them. Diddy appears to be embroiled in legal matters at all times. He is the target of another lawsuit just when you thought the furor over the horrible claims that he had abused women was finished. Producer Rodney Jones, who worked with Diddy on Puffy's most recent record, described many incidents of maltreatment and strange behavior. Despite the fact that Rodney witnessed and participated in dangerous circumstances, he claims he was too afraid to inform the authorities since his boss had powerful connections. Mr. Jones was scared by Mr. Combs. It seemed that he could not refuse him. Mr. Combs has never held back when it comes to exercising his enormous power over the music industry and law enforcement. Additionally, according to Rodney, Diddy had acknowledged a lot of wrongdoings, including dating other celebrities and lying to others in order to get what he desired. He went so far as to accuse Diddy's own children of being involved in the affair, claiming they knew about their father's actions and had even participated in them. At Diddy's parties, Rodney claimed to have witnessed Justin and Christian acting improperly with women. Diddy, Christian, and Justin all released comments after these accusations were published denying any misconduct. Day's attorney backs off, claiming that Lil Rod is merely a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit in order to receive an unfair compensation. His irresponsible name, bringing up irrelevant and entirely made-up subjects. But it seems that Diddy's child is starting to become anxious since they have chosen to make their own message, which is very different from what their father had wanted to say. They appear to be preparing to turn against their father, and they could even work with the police to clear their own names. It appears that significant developments about the ongoing circumstances surrounding Diddy's children, Justin and Christian Combs, as well as the charges the music mobile is currently facing, are imminent. Lil Rod's revised complaint from March 4 includes further details about an alleged interaction that took place in Los Angeles between Diddy and his son Justin. Moreover, as the headlines make clear, this young man is no stranger to controversy. Less than a year ago, he was arrested for DUI. But, being the son of the well-known scene Diddy Combs, there is no chance that you will go to jail. After that, instead of going to jail for his DUI conviction, Justin was handed a three-year probationary term. Given the charges leveled against his father, it doesn't seem like he will face any further legal challenges. Despite Diddy's and his legal team's best efforts to deny the veracity of the accusations made against the Combs family, it seems like Lil Rod was telling the truth. Diddy isn't quite attempting to repair his reputation after his producer Sue accused him of making defamatory statements, despite the fact that his lawyer claimed the music mogul is acting out of desperation and financial gain. The issue is that Justin and Christian's father are presently facing the similar circumstances, According to insiders, they no longer need his protection because they are handling this catastrophe alone, having been the victims themselves. It's said that Christian spent a lot of time with Diddy following the mysterious death of his mother model, Kim Porter. Given the circumstances, it is possible that his upbringing and his father's lifestyle influenced his behavior. In a Hot 97 interview, the young man discussed how Diddy influenced the choices he made in life. There have been rumors that Diddy has abused his kids in the past. There are rumors that Diddy had an impact on their careers. In 2016, Christian said that he wanted to become a musician and inked a record contract with his father's record label, Bad Boy. In light of the charges, his comments may potentially be interpreted rather differently. Diddy has reportedly always kept his boys close, according to insiders. 
It looks like Justin and Christian were close to the music mogul, even if their names and pictures have never made headlines. The latest lawsuit filed by Lil Rod exposes the terrible impact Diddy has on his sons and raises the possibility of internal power struggles inside his business. There are demons on this island, a reviewer wrote, adding, I am completely disgusted by the name said. Diddy's sick, involving his sons in that mess, stated another. There are hints that Justin could have been coerced into doing some illegal things in his case, and Diddy might have even used his wealth and influence to hide proof of his son's involvement. The issue is that Diddy's child was unable to stop rumors from circulating, even with us fumbling about his studio. Lil Rod's latest lawsuit claims that when Justin and a man named GDO are sessioning a pal named G at a California studio, a disturbing incident occurred. According to Rodney, Around the time of the event, Diddy had producers and writers set up camp. Diddy, his son Justin, and a tall, 30-year-old male friend of his named Mr. G were among the notable individuals in attendance. According to the lawsuit, Justin, Diddy, and this Mr. G got into a furious fight one evening that ended in the restroom. Shots were fired a second later. As Lil Rod alleges in his lawsuit, the gang walked inside to resolve their differences in private. Shortly afterward, multiple gunshots were heard from the toilet. Rod says he found Mr. G shot on the restroom floor as soon as Diddy and Justin departed. Then Diddy told the producer to inform the police that he had nothing to do with it. Mr. Combs was quite explicit in telling the authorities that he had nothing to do with the incident. He also forced Mr. Jones to tell the police a false story claiming that G was shot outside the studio by an unidentified assailant. Diddy has a history of being involved in questionable shootings, though, and the witness's account of what happened seems to differ from both the Los Angeles Police Department's official version of events and the claims Diddy and his friends have made. His hip area. The record executive gave off the impression that he truly believed he owned the system and could get away with anything. Though Rodney said that neither Justin nor Diddy mentioned the incident, they were the ones who pulled the trigger. Since G was Justin's friend, there's a chance that following the event, both Justin and Diddy got in touch with him and made a sizable payment to him in order to keep everything under wraps. The discussions, however, had no legal consequences. Since Keon and Justin weren't present and didn't even find out what had happened until later, I doubt the police spoke with them. Still. This is the most worrisome feature. This is by no means the start of the tale. Lil Rod claims that Justin even gave Diddy the go-ahead to entice gullible women to the parties in an effort to provide an even more terrifying picture. His parenting obligations are now the subject of serious inquiries. Diddy has obviously not included his boys in his troublesome lifestyle, but his conceit kept him from seeing that they could have to face the consequences as a group. Even the potential trauma that Justin and Christian could have endured as a result of their father's alleged behavior has come up for discussion. Following the lawsuit's public release, internet commentators started speculating about what may come next. Many people find it difficult to accept that these two little kids and their father wrote these crimes on purpose. I'm not shocked to hear it, as someone else mentioned, because that individual is the devil and will doom everyone who stands in his way to hell. And further commenters stated, I believe that these kids were forced to do this. In the middle of all this drama, it seems that even Diddy's kids are happy to turn on and criticize their father. However, what are people's opinions on this? Do you believe Diddy used manipulation to place his boys in this situation? And what role do they play in the series of incidents that preceded the music mogul's passing? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.